Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how to install the MailCow server on Ubuntu. Basically, a MailCow is a self-hosted email server suite that runs on the Docker containers, and it bundles all the major components to run your own professional mail server. So let's jump to the server and see how we can install it. So right now we are on our server. And if you see our virtual machine, that is fresh Ubuntu 24.04 LTS server. And if I go and try to connect it, we are now connected with the Ubuntu server. And if you see the IP address, that is 12.42 is there. So first of all, uh, let me become the root user. For that, I will type sudo hyphen i and will put the password for the user and now you can see root at my host and i will set the password for the root user as well and i will set the new password and it is set now so now first of all we have to make sure that our system is clean and up to date for that i will run this command to upgrade the system it is downloading and upgrading the system so our system is upgraded so let me try to reboot it so the system has been rebooted and connected again. So let me try to install the Docker now. Again, I will become the root user. And now we will add the Docker GPG key. So it is set. And now we have to add the Docker repository. To set the Docker repository, I will run this command. And now it's time to install the Docker engine. So to install the Docker engine, I will run this command and you can see it is downloading and installing the docker engine and once it is completed we will check the version of the docker to check the version we can type this like docker version and you can see the version is 28.5.0 and the build number is this so our docker is installed so now it's time to install the docker compose if we see the docker version here right now it is not available there so in order to install that you can run this command like app install docker compose right now it is not found so i will run this command apt install docker compose i install that and now i check the docker compose version you can see the version is 1.29.2 now let's try to download the mail cow i will change the directory to the opt and now i will run this command let to download the mail cow so it's cloning and now we have to generate the mail cow configuration file and here it will ask the host name and I will type my host name as mail.itsakha.com and I will set the time zone to Alaska, Kolkata. Now it's asking to disable the clam antivirus. I will say no and here we have the available branches and I will select the first option that is stable. Now you can see it is disabling IPv6 and generating the certificate. Now let's try to pull the mail cow images and to do that I will run this command sudo docker compose pull and I will hit enter. You can see it is pulling the image. It will take bit time. Now you can see that all the container images has been pulled and let's try to start the mail cow and I will run the command as sudo docker compose up so you can see it is generating creating and starting the things the process has been completed so let's check the running containers for that I will run this command docker ps now you can see these are the all containers running at the background so our containers are working perfectly fine so now let's try to access the mail cow web UI I will type the IP address and here you can see the SSL warning. I will say advance and I will accept the risk and continue. You can see the mail cow user interface. Uh, instead of this, you can just select the option like login as admin. Now you can see we are logged into the mail cow user interface. Summary we have here. This is the CPU course and the memory available and these are the container information and you can see all these containers are running and if you want to configure the mail cow here you can go to the system configuration and here you have the option like access option routing system mail global filter maps and many other settings are there we are not going to configure it right now this video is just for the installation purpose so we have successfully installed our mail cow server on our ubuntu server i hope the video was informative Let's meet in a next video.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.